All right, everybody, welcome back to day two. Um, I was scrolling through some marketplace here when I woke up and found a Husqvarna riding lawnmower for 2,500 bucks. So I think we're gonna jump on this and go check it out. It's got low hours and it looks pretty clean. So we'll see if it's worth anything. And uh, can't go wrong with pizza for breakfast. You know, breakfast of champs. So we're gonna go ahead and get the truck warmed up and head out. So I will see you guys when I get everything ready. Let's go ahead and give this thing a little cold start here and see how it fires up. Oh yeah, not a problem. You know, for this truck being free, it has been a very great truck to own so far. And I've only owned it for day two now, so I'm pretty happy with it. Even all the lights on the trailer work and everything like that, so I'm Got pretty lucky with this go ahead and shut these doors here and we're gonna go ahead and take off I already messaged a guy let him know I am on my way so here we go road trip time so this guy lives about 30 minutes away from uh, my house and he seems pretty nice so far but you never really know judging buying something off Facebook marketplace and stuff so we'll hopefully he's a good guy and doesn't try to scam me or screw me over or anything like that because I have had bad luck in the past uh, with buying stuff off Facebook Marketplace. But um, did a little background info on him. He seems like an all right dude. So uh, he lives in the city, which I don't go to the city much. So this uh, this will be a new experience pulling this uh, this little trailer through the city with a crew cab long bed. It's definitely something I'm not too used to, but it'll uh, it'll be good experience for me. All right, we're finally coming up on the city. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, I think. We can take a left. And he should be up here not too much further. All right, so we finally arrived. Oh, there it is. I got to try and get my trailer up in there. Let's see how this goes. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the guy, and I'm going to put the camera down just because, you know, I'm sure he probably doesn't want to be filmed. So I will get back to you guys uh, after that. So here we go. Okay, I had to grab my camera. Um, so we went ahead and purchased it. And I'm going to get it loaded up now. Nice and easy. sure I center it over the axle there we go all right let's get this thing strapped okay there we go we got our new uh, new riding lawnmower and the long drive back to the farm I'm gonna take a different way back this time there's a new dealership that opened up on the east side of town here and they're supposed to have some pretty cool trucks so I'm definitely interested to see what they got, even though I can't afford anything, but it doesn't hurt to look, right? Okay, the new dealership should be somewhere up here. There it is. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. Look at all these trucks they got. Nice new GMC. It looks like they got an F650 over here and then a, a Kodiak. I'll have to get out and check this out real quick. Wow, look at that. Imagine owning something like this. Look at that drop hitch on that truck too. Now this would be the dream. I would love to own something like that to match that. Nice 6.7 King Ranch. Towing a 6.0 King Ranch. Holy crap, does it get any better than this? Then they got a Harley Davidson edition 6.0 sitting right here. That thing is massive. Looks like they got a any level lift Ram. 
that they have set up squatted right now. Another 6.7. It looks like it's got a bunch of custom chrome suspension work done to it. And they got a Hellcat sitting in there too. I probably shouldn't hang around too long. That guy back there behind the counter looks like he, uh, he might come out and talk to me. So we're going to go ahead and bail out of here. Because I definitely can't afford any of these vehicles right now. But a man can dream. I got to say, definitely I think my goal is to have a bunch of two-tone brown service trucks king ranch all king ranch now that would be the ultimate dream but as far as affording that i need a big loan okay we're pulling back into the farm here looks like dad made it home from work i don't know if he's sleeping or not but i'd like to show him the new lawnmower i bought so go ahead and get this guy back down Okay, I went ahead and got the trailer and the mower put away. I'm going to go ahead and close it up for the night because I don't plan on using it the rest of the day. I uh, got the truck parked and turned off. I'm going to grab some dinner and talk to Dad if he's awake about possibly asking the neighbors if uh, they would need a landscaper or anything like that, a guy to mow their yard. And uh, hopefully some of them will be nice enough to give me a shot and see... Uh, see how I do so we're gonna do that next but I'm gonna eat some dinner first because I am starving uh, talk to dad he said give the neighbors a chance uh, all the ones that we have here and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go door to door and see if they uh, see if they'll need someone to do it for them so I'm gonna start with the neighbor down here first all right luckily she just lives literally right down the road so this would not be much of a haul for me at all so I'll go ahead and see if she needs some help. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down, leave it in my truck, and I will be back. Okay, so that that went pretty good. Um, she, uh, she definitely needs some help and was willing to give me a chance, so I'm thankful for that. Um, so that's, that's one. We got one client so far. Can't beat that. So I'm just going to keep driving around, closest neighbors I got, see if any of them will give me a chance. I know there's another one down here on the right, but I know the, the, we haven't really talked to these people much, and they're kind of, um, how do you put it, quiet. They don't really talk to anybody, and uh, we've tried to be nice to them, and you know, wave and be friends, and they never do, which, which is alright. Everyone's got their own opinion. But hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll give me a chance. So here we go. We got a pretty nice place here. Go ahead and shut this thing off since it's so loud. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. And I will be back. Okay, so that one didn't go bad, but she's got a lot of rules that she wants me to follow, which is fine. And her yard doesn't really need much mowing right now, but. Uh, whenever it grows, uh, she'll call me and I'll, I'll go take care of that one for her. And then this is the last neighbor I know of that's close. Uh, looks like someone already mowed their yard. So we'll see. Worst they say is no. Okay. Well, uh, they already have a landscaper taking care of their place, but I told her if she'd give me a chance, uh, she wouldn't regret it. So she wants me to mow this uh, back part here and uh, she said if it looks good enough then she'll hire me but if not then she'll keep the guy that she has uh, mowing her yard now so that's kind of cool hopefully it's someone I don't know because I'd feel bad all right it's next morning we're gonna go ahead and get the truck started and I already hooked up the trailer last night <clears throat> got the lawnmower strapped down and we're gonna head to the first client's house and get it started so hopefully it'll be a good day made it go ahead and shut the truck off and uh, get this thing unloaded
Okay, got all that stuff picked up and taken care of. Go ahead and get this thing started again and head to the next house. This yard looking pretty good. They were very happy with it, so that is what matters. Did exactly what she wanted me to, and I believe uh, they were really, really impressed. So, head off to the final clients. I think with the money that we made today, I'm gonna go get some new tires for this truck because these ones are pretty dry rotted. Before I put this stuff up, I'm gonna wash it off. Try and make sure I take care of my stuff. All right, just got done washing this thing. Went ahead and got dad. He is going to go ahead and come pick me up. Drop this thing off real quick. Because I definitely don't want to keep running around on bald tires. Alright, so I'm just waiting on dad to get here. But, uh, man, don't this thing clean up really good. Got one last look at it before we put some brand new tires on it. They should be a little bit bigger. Um, I just felt like going with the... Uh, bigger size I feel like it'd look a little bit better okay so I went inside and talked to them and they actually want me to pull it into their service area <clears throat> which I had to get access to I'm excited to get this thing back now looks like he's here to pick me up so I will get back to you guys whenever we make it back to the house all right so it's been about six hours since we dropped the truck off and they finally called saying that it's ready to be picked up but I have a little bit of a surprise I didn't just get tires for it um, I also bought new wheels so I'm pretty excited to see how these look um, I think it'll make the truck look really really classic and just a lot bigger so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and uh, I'll see you guys when we get there Okay, so we just got here, and I had to keep my eyes closed because I want you guys to see this first time when I do. So here we go. Oh, man. Look at that. That looks awesome. So I went with some Mickey Thompson Classics and 35-inch Nitto tires. Now, this thing sits up a little bit higher than it did and it's got a little bit of a bigger wheel I think these are a 17 or an 18 that just looks so much better I got a lot lot more stuff in store for this whole truck but this is a pretty good first start look at that that looks good the trucks finally starting to come together Go ahead and get this thing home. Park this thing back here. I think dad stopped somewhere to grab something to eat for us before he gets back, but man, doesn't that thing look super sharp with those tires and wheels on it? Just so much taller, wider, got more stance to it more aggressive looking but I'd say this thing's starting to come together pretty well now I did spend the rest of my money I had on buying these from selling the bales and mowing today that's gonna be a wrap for today um, I'm gonna head to bed and uh, wait for dad to get home and eat some dinner so 
I appreciate you guys watching and staying tuned in to my videos. So I uh, hope you guys have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one.